الكلام الكلام الحلو ده وانا سعيد جدا ان انا معاكم في الجلسه دي بالذات لانها فيها عبالقه كتير والواحد يعني مكسوف شويه. اتس ا فيري اكستريم كيس يعني لكن نشوفها مع بعض. البيشن ده الفيرست برزنتيشن بتاعته كانت في اغسطس 2015 عنده انفترتيف ايل ديفايند ماس موجوده في الرايت لوب هنشوف في الكورونا ريفيو ان هي داخله جوه البورتال فين دي بادينج مالجنت ثرومبس والليجن اكشولي اكبر من اللي باين في السي تي لان هو فيري انفترتيف مش قادرين نشوف الضوء فين ساعتها كان البورتال فين لسه بيتنت رايت وليفت وكان الهباتيك فين لسه بيتنت والبيشن كان شايل اي فايف Uh, عندنا ديفرنت ثيرابيوتيك اوبشنز بس ما نطولش. اكوردنج تو بي سي ال سي كلاسيفيكيشن البيشن ده كان بي سي ال سي جروب سي عشان البورتال فين انفيجن والريكومديشن بتاعته كانت نكسا بار. عملنا له مالتي سبين ريسيشن انا الريديولوجيست كنت الوحيد اللي عاوز اعمل له تيس في حين الانكولوجيست رفض التيس وكان عاوز يدي نكسا بار حسب الريكومديشنز كان فيه باثولوجيست برضه كان رفض التيس وسيرجن رفض انه آه يتدخل عشان الثرومبس وبالتالي آه كان كل اللي راح ضدي وانا اي ريسبكت الاغلبيه فقلت للبيشنت خلاص اي كانت دو تيست والانكولوجيست بريسكرايب الاكسفار بس البيشنت كود نوت افورد انه ياخد الاكسفار. البيشنت قعد يلف رايح جاي رايح جاي وكذا مره جالي كذا مره وفي الاخر بعد ثمان شهور الحاله بتتدهور وبدا يحصل له بين آه وهنا هنشوف ناتشرال جورس اوف اتش سي ويتش از كوايت ريل ايه اللي حصل في الثمان شهور دول. ساعات بنسمع من بعض الهيباتولوجيست يقول لك انا عندي عيان قعد خمس سنين من غير علاج. أه بصوا حضراتكم على التيومر ده ايه اللي حصل له؟ ده التيومر بيفور ايه اللي حصل؟ ده التيومر بيفور في ثمان شهور اكل الرايت لوب كله وبدا يخش على سيجمنت 4 ايه وسيجمنت 8 ده اكسل فيو الليجن بيفور اند افتر ده البورتال فين بيفور ده البورتر فين افتر الثرومبا سبيشيت في البورتر فين قفلت الرايت بانش كله بكل بكل فروعه ودخلت في في الباثيفيكيشن وعلى اول اللفت دخلت في الهباتيك فين وعملت حاجه اسمها ارتير هباتيك هباتو فين الشنط ما بين الهباتيك ارتي والرايت هباتيك فين ده الاي في سي وده الهارت والثرومبا بينها وبين الهارت 2 سم دي الصوره الكورونال ادي التيومر بيفور بيفور الفين لسه بيتنت وافتر التيومر وصل لحد هنا This is a very aggressive tumor ومش هيخف لوحده، يعني الناس بتقول لك انا بقعد اتابع العيان خمس سنين وما حصلوش حاجه وعايش، ده مش البيشنت، This is a very aggressive tumor rapidly progressive. البيشنت لسه شغال بـ A5. Therapeutic options. Uh, طبعا ترانسبتيشن غير متاحه، ريسكشن غير متاحه، كل الريبيتيف ثيرابيز غير متاحه، التير هي التريتمنت اوف شويس لكن هو هي نوت افورد زي ما كان نوت افورد التير كان نوت افورد النكسافار. والنكسافار اوريدي ما خدوش قبل فمين موافق ان احنا نعمله تيس من القاعة بالوضع ده؟ حد تاني موافق دكتور احمد ابو زيد؟ دكتور يسري؟ مين موافق نعمله تيس؟ تيس انا مش موافق. هو از اكسبتنج تيس فور ذيس بيشنت؟ دكتور فادي؟ فادي يو اكسبت تيس فور ذيس بيشنت؟ فادي يو اكسبت تيس فور ذيس بيشنت؟ فادي يو اكسبت تيس In my opinion, this patient is like standing in a in a building on fire, and the fire is already catching him. He might jump, he might live. If he stays, he's burned anyways. But what happened? What I want to say that the patient changed his pathologist and went to someone who's like more aggressive, like me a little bit. So he came on my side. The oncologist joined the group at the end, and the surgeon was out of the equation now. So I told him the worst case scenario. I told him. The, all the, the worst option that could happen, but he still wanted this. So we did a high-risk test on March 2016. Uh, this is just a little bit of imaging. This is the thrombus, what you see here, the, the, the black thing going down. This is the malignant portal thrombus. 
Um, here we can see the uptake af after the first session. We have to understand this is a huge tumor. We have 22 centimeters tumor. Uh, with multiple hepatic arterial feeders, we cannot do them all together, or we, he might fail. So we started by doing the thrombus, which is the most dangerous, going to the heart. Uh, this is the hepatic vein thrombus. This is before treatment. We can see the thrombus limit here. This is after treatment. It is completely soaked and filled with lepido. The patient had an accessory right hepatic vein. This is the main right hepatic vein. This is an accessory, and both were treated, and both were thrombosed, infiltrated. And this shows you how, how aggressive the tumor is. Uh, the patient had a post a second post emergency syndrome so aggressive that I thought he might die, and I, I was already starting to blame myself. But he, one month later, he got full recovery. We needed a three months follow up. I used trapezic in the middle of the treatment for CT angio, and I used MRI at the end for, for validation. So, this is uh, the first follow up. We can see that there is control in this area. This area is still active, the tumor is huge. We did not tackle the portal vein thrombus yet. This is the thrombus which is still active. You can see it's highly hospitalized thrombus. Uh, this is not residual activity, this is part of the procedure. It's not residual. And we should explain to the patient when he goes back to the hepatologist, this is, we are this, still on the road, we did not arrive yet. We should not judge the treatment in the middle when we finish. Okay, not for a small tumor, but this is not repeating. We are not repeating on a previous tumor. We are going steps. So six months later, we did this in the second session. We can see here the border of the tumor from the second part, tackling the anterior border to stop it from eating the liver. We are stopping uh, like uh, the, uh, surrounding it. Uh, this image will show you before treatment, the peak before treatment, and this is after the second, second session of taste. We are starting to get marvelous improvement. The patient was very happy, and we went for the third one, targeting the portal vein thrombus, which was not yet treated. In the third session, which was in October, now six months, he still got a severe post emergency syndrome, like in, he recovered completely. And this is uh, the peak of the treatment. We can see here the tumor thrombus before going to the heart, now it is regressing, the thrombus has stopped. Now we have embolized the portal vein with all the right portal tree, and the patient tolerated the procedure. It was like weaning the liver from the arterial supply gradually, step by step, teaching the liver how to not use the arterial supply and go on the portal supply. Uh, this is uh, after the third treatment. A report, a radiologist suspected some residual activity in the middle. We had a fourth phase. So actually, basically, the treatment took a full year from March till February 2016. This is the follow-up after the uh, third session, uh, the, after the last session, sorry. Here we can see a non-contrast CT, and this is the arterial phase CT. We are comparing both. MRI is better, but we needed this for CT angiography. Should we do another test? So again, this is non-contrast CT, and this is arterial phase. Let's take the stills is better. Here, the thrombus is completely. All what you see in white here is the pyro, even in this area. This is the port against thrombus complete response and the hepatic thrombus. So now the war is over and I think we have won. Uh, if we compare before and after, this is the image before and after. The peak of the treatment and one year later, we can see the marvelous response of the tumor. Sorry. This is the hepatic thrombus again before treatment and this is the repair oil. This is the main mass and this is the port against thrombus and we won. So, please do not give easily on a child A patient. And please bear in mind that these procedures are very high risk. We don't decide as the I refused the patient for eight months when the, the multidisciplinary clinic refused him, but only when they accepted, I allowed him to do, to do this. Uh, is malignant pet port against thrombosis a death sentence? Because this is a misconcept. In all uh, hepatologists in Egypt, it is not a death sentence. We can still treat the patients. We have done like 7,000 procedures in the past few years. I'm just including another three cases with sport against thrombosis to show it's not a coincidence. This is not a, a one, one case that happened. This is a thrombus before. This patient was resected by Dr. Meher Osman at, after the thrombus is resolved. Another patient with complete right and left sport against thrombosis. We presented this case last year in Eshgit. Uh, this is a thrombus, in, uh, and this is follow up after four years. We can see the thrombus has resolved. This is a third patient who's treating with, with stair, and you can see now before treatment and after treatment, the patient is completely uh, also four years uh, follow up. We have to know this, uh, presented by Dr. Muhammad Kohla many times. This is the Hong Kong guidelines. All do BCLC is so aggressive and so inclined towards sorafenib, but in Hong Kong, in stage 3B, which, which we have here, we can still do this for portable thrombus. If we've got 100 patients like this, we select like 10 of them maximum. We do the treatment. If we save five, I think we have done a good job. Uh, 
Finally, we know we should know how to select the diamonds from the mud. This is the idea of the presentation. I would select 100 patients from 2,000 portable vein thrombosis and do for only 100, and we will get 60% results if we know how to choose the patient. We have done only 100 portable vein thrombosis out of 7,000 tests, so it's not a big deal. We can still do it. I beg you, if the patient comes in the middle of the treatment course, don't tell him it's not working. Give us the chance to complete our treatment and then judge us. If you see an advanced patient like this one who did not respond, and one got the idea that not stable, others have responded. Don't judge us. And please do not reject the patient without an MDT because you may be wasting his only chance of life. Uh, Dr. Mohamed Kohli add Maana, as long as you have a good liver, don't worry. He just said this now. And another sentence by, by Dr. Fadi himself. There is a very fine line between crazy and stupid. It is sometimes useful to be crazy, but not stupid. And thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, this is a t-shirt for such a case. Any comments or questions? So I'm not going to go back to it.